Hello, I'm Kim Rooster Rossiter. Along with Tanya McDaniel McGee. And this is Spotlight Saturday, episode 36. Super excited about this episode, 36. Of course, we have to give some uh, education first. You might be wondering why we used our hands in a weird, different way. It's not weird at all. In fact, it's sign language. Yes, because we're running out of hand space to do 36, so we're going to start using sign language. So Kimbo's going to have to get a little educated from his Aunt Wilma and from Run Jody some other friends. 36 in sign language. Very cool. In fact, Briley decided she wanted to learn sign language, and when we came up with this problem with how do I do my, my hands, she said, well, Dad, I know sign language. I'm learning, so. I'll flip it over and teach you. So, yeah. very exciting. So, why is Tanya here? Ha <laughs> ha! We're doing right in our DC, baby! Yeah, Woo! it's going to be absolutely insane. Miss Wheelchair, Louisiana, Laney, rolling up here to join us tomorrow. Of course, we're going to have Tony coming from uh, DC and a uh, beautiful, beautiful young lady joining us from Maryland. It just, it's going to be I'm so fabulous. excited to meet her. Yeah, so, we're going to start rolling up there to Cumberland tomorrow. But uh, we wanted to film this spotlight beforehand so that we can get it out to you first thing Saturday morning. What are we going to tackle in this episode? We have a couple quick questions and a few uh visits from our ambassadorships. So without further ado, let's kick it over for a little recap from our great friends Mark and Brandon who accomplished their run down North Carolina a couple weeks ago. Riley, flip to Mark, please. All right, so Team Smile and Roll has finished up and completed our 163 mile run across the state of North Carolina. And we were fortunate enough uh, to be asked to come in and share our experience with third grade class here at Oakview Elementary School. Uh, so Brandon and I have been in here uh, talking about our experience and how much fun we have or had and uh, also some of the challenges that we had and some of the uncomfortable feelings that we had as we were running. But uh, mm. we are here now with uh, the third grade class and uh, mm. we uh, got to share a whole lot. They asked us some great questions and they've got something that they wanted to say mm. to Brandon Rizzuti. To, to Ainsley's Angels, thank you guys for supporting us, giving us the uh, use of the RV for our trip, and we had an absolutely fantastic time. Uh, lots of smiles, lots of rolls, and uh, until next time, Brandon and I, we'll see you later. I mean, just, just absolutely an amazing accomplishment. Love watching those two rock and roll together. Absolutely. Their, their friendship is just so inspiring, and the whole team that brought them through the whole state. Yeah. They even had some crazy weather and they just pushed right on through. Good yeah. stuff, guys. Hurricanes didn't stop them at all. Not at all. Um, another awesome thing that we got to witness this past couple of weeks is uh, up in Pennsylvania. And actually, I'm going to let Ambassador Amanda uh, take over from here and, and show us Team Dick. Hey everyone, this is Ambassador Amanda with Southeastern Pennsylvania and I am here with Karen and Dick. They are a father-daughter duo. Um, Karen, can you tell me a little bit about how you heard about us and how you got here today? Sure. I was listening to one of my running blogs on the way to work and they talked about your agency and I thought, wow, wouldn't that be something to let my dad experience a race again? My dad was um, a runner and he's the one who got me into running when I was 11 years old. He showed me the ropes and I haven't stopped since. And unfortunately, he's got Parkinson's disease and he's been in a wheelchair for a while now. And I just thought it would be great for him to experience a race again with me, so. Well, we were so happy to have you guys out. Dick, did you have a great time today? Yeah. Awesome. You guys are so cute. Now, do you think you'll be joining us again, hopefully, I someday? We hope so. Awesome. Well, you guys are officially part of the Ansley's Angels family, and we're so happy to have you with us, and um, we'll see you at the next race. Thank you. How, how, how cool is that? Father? daughter duo. I don't Love know if we have one of those. I don't think we do. In terms of their daughter pushing the father. The father, yeah. exactly. It's That's usually awesome. reverse roles and things like that. So thanks so much for sharing that. Amanda, welcome to the family, Dick. And uh, we look forward to seeing so many awesome things coming out of Pennsylvania. Um, did you see what happened down in Florida last weekend? So I heard a little bit about it from Jody, but I haven't seen all the footage yeah. yet. So just, wow. I mean, the opportunity to do what we do and to be available to help other people do what we do. You know what, Jody, you can tell the story better than I, please. Riley, flip it down to Jody, Jody in Florida. Hey everyone, I'm Run Jody, Florida State Ambassador for Ainsley's Angels of America. And this week something very special happened that I wanted to share with all of you. 
During the week, I was contacted by the Children's Cancer Hospital in Tampa, and they were having an event, and they wanted to include their child cancer patients, but they didn't know how. And someone gave them our name and said that maybe we could be helpful. So after talking on the phone, uh, with very little notice, I tried to set something up and make something happen. And even though I wasn't there, something did happen, something very special. So I sent five angels with five empty freedom chairs, and three of them are here today to just kind of tell you how it all came together. So Angel Jill, Angel Susie, and Angel Erica are here to talk to you. Angel Jill. Well, we arrived in Tampa. Susie hauled the chairs for us. We weren't sure what we were going to find, but we took five chairs, right? Mm -hmm. And we pushed, uh, what were their names? Three, three children, um, Isaiah, Nicholas, and Millie. I got to push Millie. She's seven, and she has two to three more chemo sessions, she said. She has some vision issues, and she sang the entire 3.1 miles. It was mm -hmm. awesome, and her first 5K ever. It was Nicholas's first 5K as well, and we stopped and took a picture at mile one, and he assured me that 5K was very far. It was only three miles, not five. It was 5K. <laughs> but he was adorable, and he told me a lot of stuff about his leukemia and his diagnosis. He was treatment. We also had the pleasure of introducing Isaiah to the Ainsley's Angels family. Isaiah was actually the announcer for the event and got to kick off the kickstart and said, let's go team, and went out there and got this 5K started for us. Favorite part, I would say, is trying to keep up with the Chick Fil A cow. Believe it or not, Chick Fil A cow ran a mile and a half. That's right. We all wow. got to high five wow. the Chick Fil A cow at the end. They were a sponsor. So awesome. next year, we're already in the planning stages to include all of Ainsley's Angels in Florida. Our angel riders, their patients, our angels, everyone is going to be included in next year's events, and we're already in the planning stages, and it's going to be huge, and it's going to be awesome. Woo! So let's Woo! high five each other. Woo! Yay. Yay. It's just, just one more prime example about our involvement in communities and how people can learn about the mission and then Absolutely. go and just advocate in ways that we never even envisioned happening. So Absolutely. Love just, how they reach out to us. Yeah, Good stuff. Amazing. Um, spotlight Saturday is awesome because we get to spotlight these great stories. But from time to time, we get a question or two. You've got to keep those questions coming. We've asked you to. And so uh, let's go ahead and roll a couple of those questions, Briley. What do we got? Jennifer McCormick asks, if you have ideas for new Ainsley's Angels products, who should you ask? Great question. What do you think? Uh, so, we love getting new ideas from our Ainsley's Angels family. Easiest thing to do is to send an email to info at ainsleysangels.org and the powers that be will read it and get back to you on your idea. Thanks for the question, Jennifer. Brody Wells' question is, who does your hair, Rooster? Of course you want to know that. Doggone sailors, always worried about Marine's hair. Question is, who does her hair? Hey, Briley, why don't you show the world who does my hair? Show that camera, show that picture. See that? That's a good pair of clippers and a navy barbershop getting some good haircut done. I love that. Nevertheless, thank you, Senior Vice President for Ambassador Operations, for being here and co hosting today. We're going to go rock this Ragnar thing. As always, Snapchat story, Instagram story. Get in there, rocking and rolling on that thing. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, I don't know what you're waiting on there. Do it. And uh, I think that's it. I think, I think it's that's a wrap. It. That's a wrap. Awesome. Peace out. We'll see y'all for 37. A young angel born with.